Hey guys, what's up? I originally didn't think I was going to do this video because it's kind of a straightforward process, but I told myself if I was going to go through with it, I might as well just at least record a little bit. I don't know if I'll end up ever posting this. It's pretty straightforward, so uh, we'll get started with this quick little install. I don't even know where I put everything. I just have it all here. Oh, what the heck. Oh God, where'd I put it? Ah, oh, I was sitting on it, damn it. Okay, so this is a blacked out BMW M4 badge. This is gonna go on here and replace the existing one, which is chrome. I've been trying to just get rid of all the chrome pieces on the car and replace it with either uh, carbon fiber or black. I just, the contrast on the white looks a lot better in my opinion. So yeah, um, I just got in some downpipes from VR Speed Factory and I'm actually getting up early in the morning to go over to my buddy's house and we're going to install those and I'm going to uh, bring the camera along with and we're going to film that. Uh, but I've got all these other parts. I've got carbon fiber splitters for the front of the car. JV4. We've got JV4 coming tomorrow. No, it just came in yesterday. Yeah. JV4 is already here, and then we got Catless Downpipes, so super exciting, tons of stuff to install in the car, and I was going to go to sleep after going out tonight, we were just at a beach bonfire, but I really wanted to install this because it's super quick, so, uh, oh yeah, and another thing that I wanted to do was, while I'm at it, I'll just show you these awesome lights I got on Amazon, um, they're LED tube lights, and they I, right now I kind of have them just mounted to the wall. It's pretty ridiculous. Like look at the light quality you get on the car. It's pretty awesome for waxing and detailing inside of the garage. So these are the lights. They they're pretty straightforward. They have just like a a switch on here, and you can daisy chain them. So uh, this cord just daisy chains over here to this light, and then. I ran on the bottom of this light, another daisy chain over here to this one. And you can daisy chain a bunch of these in a row. I'm gonna do three on this wall, three over there, one on the ceiling towards the back and then another towards the front so we can get more light up here cause it's still kind of dark. But just, I love it. Like, look at that. Looks like a, a photo studio in here. It's pretty awesome. And these were for eight of them, it was like, I think $60 on Amazon and check this out. So if you're working on it, I, I think I might keep one of these unmounted just because it's awesome for working on the car. So you can have them mounted like that or since it's such a lightweight, just LED tube, just plastic and a little bit of cheap metal. I mean, you can plug these in, even do an extension cord and just kind of carry it with you. Like look how much crazy good lighting this is gonna provide for the back of the car here. And then I'm gonna take some of these over tomorrow for doing the uh, downpipe. I'm gonna lay some in the hood and take them under the car with me because you know you can throw them up under the car, get some good lighting. So that's pretty awesome. I love these things. And uh, so yeah, this is, I'm actually gonna use these right now to help me back here on the back end. So uh, essentially what we're gonna do is just take off this badge. But before we do that, I wanna go ahead with some painter's tape. And uh, what I wanna do is I wanna mark, let me get this light a little bit better here. There we go. So what I wanna do is I wanna take tape and mark the edges. Like just take tape going straight along every edge because once I heat this up with a hairdryer, we're gonna pop these off and then I'll just align everything to an edge for the new emblem. So uh, let's get this taped up and then uh, we'll go from there. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go through with uh, some just straight up isopropyl alcohol and clean this area all around here. Uh, there's just some grime that I wanna get off. We'll do that first and then apply some heat to peel this off. All 
Alrighty. So now, what we're going to do is you want to get a credit card or something that's like a thin plastic so that you can kind of pry this off. So, got it all taped up. Kind of solves the Best Buy rewards card that is expired for like four years already. Holy shit, I'm getting old. So, I'll take the hair dryer, we'll heat up the area here, and we'll kind of get in behind here and just pile this off. Wow, so as you can see, that came off, and that came off, but it left all this sticky shit everywhere on the back instead of coming off cleanly with this, but um, at least we got it off, that's fine. This stuff I peeled off pretty easily on the floor, so look at that outline it left. That's all we're going to need to go back through with rubbing alcohol and kind of clean this up. But <laughs> Those outlines also may help us reapply this darn thing. Alrighty, so there we have it. Blacked out M4 logo, looks pretty awesome. Makes this carbon and the logo look pretty good together. Ties it in well. And uh, this light here was pretty awesome for helping install this. It's really good, I love it. it. Looks a lot better than the chrome. And now I can use this uh, chrome M4 badge for something else to decorate. So. Awesome. Yeah, this video was probably way more straightforward than anything you can do to your car. It's a super easy mod, and uh, it's probably not necessary, but I figured I'd film it while I was already here. Alrighty, guys. Thank you very much, and uh, stay tuned. We're going to have some downpipes installed this weekend, which I'm going to film, and then some carbon fiber splitter, and then JB4. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.